Melbourne auction market notches strong 75% clearance rate to finish 2016. An unrenovated bank house in Port Melbourne sold for the first time in four decades, fetching six figures over reserve, as the buyers turned out in droves for the last big auction weekend of the year. Three quarters of the 1286 homes sent under the hammer last week resulted in sales, preliminary core logic figures show. Big finale. Brighton Beach Box, Goanbury House break records at auction. Tis the season. Experts say Christmas holidays can be a great time to buy a house. The best gift. Christmas comes early for buyers of Sandringham House. The clearance rate was down slightly on last week's 78.4% from a season-high 1685 auctions, but substantially up on this time last year's 65.7% from 875 auctions. Advantage Property Consulting Director Frank Valentic said last week's large number of auction offerings and strong clearance rate reflected both sellers and buyers trying to get in before Christmas. Mr. Valentic said most of the properties his buyers' advocates watched go under the hammer sold for at least 10% over reserve, showing purchasers were willing to splash a bit more cash to secure a home before year's end. This was the case in Port Melbourne on Saturday, where a three-bedroom bank house at 45 Crichton Avenue in need of renovation fetched $1.502 million against a reserve of $1.35 million. The house had been basically untouched since it last changed hands 40 years ago, remarkably for just $36,300. Mr. Valentic said the auction attracted a 60-strong crowd and five bidders, most of them young families looking to upsize. Click here for this week's auction results. Hawking Stewart, Albert Park Selling agent Simon Graff said families were being drawn to the Garden City precinct of Port Melbourne by the local primary school and the area's community feel. Everyone knows it everyone. It's pretty tight-knit, Mr. Graff said. Mr. Graff said the area had begun to take off about three years ago, with a lot of wealth now flowing into the area. Garden City was created as a planned residential development by the State Bank of Victoria and furthered by the Housing Commission of Victoria from 1926 to 1940. This used to be a very poorly looked at part of Melbourne, but now you need to pay at least $1.5 million to get in, Mr. Valentic said. The area filled with semi-attached single and double-story houses, is built around open spaces. Another renovated bank house at 51 Edwards Avenue fetched $2.365 million, $165,000 over reserve, at auction earlier this month. Mr. Valentic also saw six bidders send a three-bedroom brick house at 2 North Court. Forest Hill $155,000 over reserve to sell for $1.075 million. The price was remarkably $925,000 higher than when the property last sold just 13 years ago. Mr. Valentic said an investor who planned to rent out the home won the keys. In Chelsea Heights, an investor from Endeavour Hills pipped a bunch of first home buyers to secure a classic three-bedroom brick house at 11 Sutton Street for $600,000. Hawking Stewart, Chelsea, director Daniel Wright said five bidders fought for the house, which sold against a reserve of $535,000. And of 1880s Victorian home at 11 Cromwell Road. South Yarra found a buyer at a private auction yesterday. Marshall White Armadale Justin Long said the striking four-bedroom property attracted four bidders, all families wanting to make the terrace house a home, drawn in by its Victorian charm and grand location. It sold just above its reserve for $3.1 million. Samantha.landy at news.com.au Last week's top auction sales
1. 24 Alexandra Avenue, Canterbury. $4.012 million. 2. 86 Richmond Terrace, Richmond. $3.414 million. 3. 727 Hampton Street, Brighton. $3.22 million. 4. 11 Cromwell Road, South Yarra. $3.1 million. 5. 98 Victorian Road, Hawthorne East. $2.53 million. Source. Corn Logic.